Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I am fired up to be able to shoot a uh, video on the all new Transcend Explore 260 RB. This is the very first floor plan of this one to arrive at our dealership here today. Uh, it's a little cool out here in, uh, in Leduc, Alberta, Canada, but uh, I am jacked up over this new floor plan, folks. This is a couples, couples floor plan. Uh, there are no bunks in this trailer whatsoever, but I'm gonna tell you folks that this particular layout and this particular build and what Grand Design has done with the new redesign on the, uh, on the Transcend and specifically the Explore, it has an all new interior in it as well. And there are so many features on this particular model folks in the Explore going forward that are reminiscent and what you see in a 50, 60, $70,000 fifth wheel. Grand Design did not hold back whatsoever and special Special shout out to uh, the team at Grand Design, my brother Greg Cody down there, uh, leading the charge, the product manager for the Transcend Explore and Transcend lines, folks. They have done an absolutely phenomenal job to, again, challenge the market uh, when it comes to uh, travel trailers. This is not an entry level travel trailer. There are a lot of products out there, although this has the aluminum siding on it and your typical aluminum sided trailer built by every other manufacturer out there is considered an entry level trailer because in a lot of cases they're taking things out like build and structure and feature content and those sorts of things. Grand Design, this is again not an entry level trailer. This is Grand Design's way of getting their price down to be competitive but to still stand behind who they are as a company to come to the marketplace with a structurally sound product with better materials uh, better capacities bigger capacities and i'm telling you folks if you are in the marketplace for a, a price point family priced trailer uh, whether you've got a family or if it's just two of you heading out want to go camping but don't want to spend crazy money on a trailer but you want to invest in something that's going to stand the test of time the transcend explore may be absolutely perfect for you so the 260 rb measures out at 31 feet six inches in length um, the hitch weight on this particular trailer is 627 pounds. So again, if you have a half ton truck, that's what this is designed for. Um, you know, a larger SUV, uh, this may be, may be right for you. So again, true to form grand design, power jacks on the front, like a lot of manufacturers do. 20 pound propane tanks here. Couple things on the front of this particular trailer and going down the side, grand design, they do use uh, an alloy for the skin on the ex exterior of this trailer. Okay, again, that's how they get their price point down. But again, grand design is going the extra step. Most manufacturers are using a gauge that's the thickness of the aluminum on the outside of their trailer. In a lot of cases is point two, four or less. Uh, and what you'll find with that is you'll find harder edges, more grooves, it kind of the, sometimes that sidewall can, that, that skin can bow out a little bit on the uh, outside wall of the trailer. They've gone to on the Explore, and this is new, um, they've gone to the full blown transcend exterior. So you have an 04 uh, o thickness uh, on your front skin. Okay, so like I'm pounding on the front of this trailer here, folks. Um, it's gonna be more impervious to rock damage, uh, those types of things. Down the sidewall, they use an 030 thickness. So again, Grand Design's going the extra step. And the nice thing with that, with that skin, going the extra thickness, it lays a lot flatter. There's less grooves and edges. And I mean, you can, you can pound on the exterior wall of this trailer, folks. Um, unlike some manufacturers that are using that thinner alloy, you know, uh, can dent a whole lot easier, okay? The other thing that they do is they do a satin textured paint finish on it. Okay, so, you know, less chance that when you're washing the trailer, uh, the dirt and debris just t t uh, tends to wash off a whole lot nicer. And it gives it a, just a nice look, kind of like a, uh, when, you, when you're when you looking at a, a vehicle that's got just that, that flat paint color on it, it just has a really nice, cool look to it. And again, they're using that really modern, edgy, you know, linear style graphics. So if you've got a, a white truck, a, a black truck, a silver truck, a gunmetal colored truck, blue, red, whatever, um, it's gonna look so, so good behind a, a nice clean truck, which is nice. Again, they're not holding back with Grand Design. They're known for their pass-through storage compartments. 43 cubic feet of pass-through storage how they achieve that they radius the front wall here they give you dual motion sensor lighting to help illuminate uh, your storage compartment at night if you need to access your gear again folks at this price point they're the only manufacturer using the enclosed utility compartment so you know, your city water connection you can run out your fresh water line up through this porthole access 
Okay, this is the same style setup that you get in, a, in, a, in an Imagine. Okay, uh, run your fresh water line up, up through here, hook it up to your city water connection. You can buy, uh, di use this tank diverter valve here to um, fill up your fresh, uh, fresh water tank through this as well, which is nice battery disconnect switch, 110 plug, you got all your coax cable connections. So, and the really nice thing is you can keep this compartment locked and closed. So you're not hooking up that fresh water line to the outside wall of your trailer, magnet to hold up the door. It's a bigger, bigger, better door. And it's a triple latch as well versus just one keyed latch that we find with some of the other products and even more expensive products out there that you find in some of the fiberglass trailers uh, where manufacturers are, are cutting those things out to save some money. So again, we're on the 260 RB Imagine Grand Design, not holding back. Um, you're only as good as your seal on any RV. It doesn't matter if you've got Asdale in your sidewalls. Every trailer has wood used either in roof or walls or what have you. So there's always those materials that can be susceptible to moisture damage if moisture is let inside your trailer. And Grand Design prides itself on the seal that they use on all of their products. Okay? For Grand Design's entry into the travel trailer market, they still do not use butyl putty tape. And again, folks, a lot of manufacturers still using that butyl putty tape, which is an inferior product. It's been used in the industry for decades, but that in a lot of cases is the reason why people deal with moisture intrusion issues and water damage as time goes on. Grand Design is investing into materials and products that are gonna really help your trailer stand the test of time. Like I mentioned, you're spending a lot of money on these RVs and you want them to last, you want them to stand up. Okay, Grand Design, especially on their Transcend, they use their quad seal technology, which basically they use the Mylar tape seal, which they use on all of their products, which seals in your sidewall to rear wall. They wrap it over the edge. There's no butyl putty. Okay, then they use in between the grooves to fill this in a PVC foam tape. I don't know if you can see that through the camera or not bad shadow potentially um, but there's a, a PVC double PVC foam tape that they use to help seal in the grooves as you go up for the aluminum siding uh, no other manufacturers doing that and then they put on a silicone cap seal so that silicone cap seal goes over just to help prevent that moisture from getting in so you have basically got three layers or quad seal uh, with the with the uh, double PVC foam tape you've got the mylar tape seal and that um, silicone cap seal like they are going the extra step and I can't doesn't matter how much you spend on your RV you could spend half a million dollars on your RV um, or ten thousand dollars on your RV Moisture intrusion, you're only as good as the seal that's on the outside of the trailer. And Grand Design, doesn't matter what product you're looking at, they're investing in those products so that your trailer will stand up, which is absolutely fantastic. New for the uh, all new redesigned uh, Transcend Explorer, they've gone to a white uh, exterior rear wall. They used to do that gunmetal color that you see here on the side. Okay, main reason why was it hid their graphics. So on the rear white wall, um, makes the graphic pop out so you can see that it says transcend explore plus it's got a nice look to it the other thing that's new <clears throat> standard is the uh, the rear ladder now that's floor plan specific there are a couple floor plans that they cannot put the ladder on the back uh, just due to floor plan whatever the reason is i'm not 100 percent sure but on this particular model standard again rear ladder why grand design wants you to be able to access the roof to be able to you know do some roof sealant touch-ups change a roof vent sweep off the top of your slide out before you bring it in all of those things a lot of products out there folks you cannot walk on their roof or they make it a whole lot more difficult just because the structure isn't there to support somebody walking up on the roof okay coming down the entry side of your trailer here folks you've got a 19 foot power awning uh, this is the Solera Lippert awning, uh, which is nice, makes adjusting really, really easy. You just pull down on this arm right here and that'll pull, put a full tilt to that roller tube. So if it's starting to rain out um, or if the sun's dropping down below that awning skirt a little bit, you can drop both arms down and give you that more shade or divert what way you want the water to run off if it's raining, that sort of thing. But you've got an absolutely massive uh, power awning on this particular trailer, which is really, really nice. Uh, again, grand design. DNA item, Dexter towing system. That's a Dexter uh, axle with a five-year warranty. You get the Westlake Lion's Head tire, comes with that five-year warranty, 12 months, no questions asked replacement. And you get that Easy Lube hub as well. So you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway, which is really nice. Again, not holding back. Atwood or Dometic, 
uh, gas electric hot water heater with a 17.8 gallon quick recovery. That's the same hot water heater you get in a uh, 60, 70 thousand dollar reflection fifth wheel. Uh, which is really, really nice. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about reflection fifth wheel on the inside of this, on, on the Transcend Explorer. But again, notice the size of the windows that Grand Design puts in, folks. Also, Grand Design on all of their trailers, every single window opens, okay? To do a slider window and the size of the window that they put on in all of their products, folks, costs money okay couple things they're not afraid to invest that money into it to give you a better experience but the structure that they put in is also they're able to support big windows uh, you know a lot of products you believe it or not folks there are some out there with windows very few windows will open on some trailers and it's just cheaper to put in just a, a flat panel window that doesn't open and that's just the way that it is uh, triple entry step that folds in out in and out nice and easy uh, nice thick grip tape alloy tread plate wider entrance doors, taller entrance doors. They're still putting the lend a hand grab handle on Grand Design's entry into the travel trailer segment. So there are so many things going on with this particular product, folks, that again, Grand Design is staying true to who they are and how they manufacture their product. Three-year structural warranty, all of the things that you get with Grand Design is on this Transcend Explore. Uh, that, that golden thread of consistency that you see interwoven between all the brands, this has in a lot of cases, uh, you know, similar features to what you get in a $100,000 Solitude or in this particular trailer. Fresh water capacity on this 260RB, folks, 62 gallons. Your gray capacity, and that's combined with your gray tank for your kitchen and your bathroom, 78 gallons, and then 39 gallons black. So unbelievable tank capacities uh, on this Transcend Explorer. So uh, I'm gonna uh, turn off and jump up here on the roof. Just stay tuned. Hey folks, we're on the roof of the uh, 260RB and I'm gonna shoot, the, shoot a bunch of things on this roof that's going on. One, they use a PVC uh, membrane up on top here. Far superior material. It doesn't hold the color that if you're doing a lot of wooded camping and you get the tree sap falling on your roof and those black spots, the PVC, fo uh, PVC uh, membrane up here doesn't, doesn't soak that color in that you find uh, with some of the other products in the industry, folks. Um, the other thing up here, folks, I'm walking on the roof, which is absolutely fantastic. You have a 16 inch on center wood truss. It's the same style of roof that you find in a $100,000 solitude or reflection that's consistent, that golden thread of consistency I talk about. Um, through all of their brands, Grand Design, they're putting that roof on their entry into the travel trailer segment, which is really, really nice. You get the upgraded wine guard dish that doesn't fold up on your roof that tree branches love to gobble up. But one thing that I'll point out, folks, you got a roof vent. I'm right above the bathroom. Roof vent above your bathroom. You got a roof vent in your living area. You got a roof vent in your bedroom. You've got a skylight in your kitchen. That Those are the things that other manufacturers will take out to help get the price down. We'll talk about a couple other things on the inside. Um, but again, Grand Design is building that value in. They're not necessarily what we would call bolting it on with whiz bang features. They're putting the structure in. They're giving you the feature content that will really help enhance your camping experience. The other thing, attic vent. Okay, they want that roof to be able to breathe, help let that heat escape on a hot day. Um, with the wood truss roof, the insulation, it's gonna hold that heat in on those colder days as well. Uh, the other thing, full walk on slide boxes, folks. I'm walking on the slide box of a trailer, aluminum sided trailer in the industry. This is the same build um, that, you know, same style of thing that they do with their slide outs. Again, on the solitude, on the reflection. So they're building that value in. If you're gonna spend money on an RV folks, um, don't necessarily just look at the price, look at the value you're getting, the build, the structure. And again, Grand Design is going that extra step. So um, we're gonna head inside here right away. All right, couple things I'm just gonna point and shoot. Spare tire on the back as well. You do get the pre-prep for your rear vision camera if you wanna add a camera to the back of the trailer. Also, exterior speakers on this uh, uh, trailer as well, mounted up nice and high. The speakers aren't countersunk into the wall, which can make the trailer a little noisier if they are. Grand design, little hole for a wire versus a great big hole for a speaker. So, and it's gonna be a little quieter when you, you know, if you got people inside sleeping and that sort of thing. So, uh, a couple other things to note there. Uh, we're gonna jump up inside here now. I've got the slide out fully extended on this particular trailer and one of the things I absolutely love about this new floor plan folks is that when the slide out is fully retracted 
you can access your bathroom and you'll be blown away by the bathroom on this particular floor plan folks it is absolutely massive okay but you've got on your off door side or your driver's side the, the side that you might share with a uh, a neighbor there's no windows you've got your fridge oven and range microwave unbelievable pantry like this is the same size pantry you get in a 303 rls reflection check that out unbelievable i had my sales guys out here today we counted in the in the in the in the kitchen area alone one two three four five six seven massive drawers and look at these drawers like look at the thick plate on the front solid wood plywood construction ball bearing drawer glide full extension like look at that drawer folks like that's where a lot of manufacturers will cut out you know you buy a trailer you get it home and it won't even have a drawer in your kitchen grand design is going the extra step but again you've got the holy grail of pantries right there again they always try to put your most comfortable seating arrangement across from your entertainment and they've done that in this particular floor plan folks so this one we optioned in the theater seating on it fully reclines out doesn't make into a bed but you can get a tri-fold couch here if you'd so choose to have that extra sleeping arrangement that is an option uh, but storage in the middle for some remotes but super comfortable seating arrangement right across from your entertainment center here uh, but one of the things note dna item windows on the entry side of your trailer okay i'm standing up with shoes on i'm about six feet tall i'm looking straight out that window folks so when you're set up at your camp space if the camp spaces are a little tighter your neighbors close by or whatever you've got a beautiful view of the woods or a river or what have you you've got a fantastic view of your camp space which is absolutely unbelievable and then storage above your theater seating so there is no absolutely no shortage of storage cool new feature folks on this particular model live edge countertop or sorry tabletop apparently this is cherry wood but look at the the nice smooth but it's a rough edge giving it like it's almost cut out of a off of a tree trunk just a really nice new look um and the tabletop is nice and wide like you can actually get two place settings across from each other so a family of four could very easily sit around this dinette you could put a chair on the end here and maybe sit five if you so choose the other thing is they're kind of similar interior to a a reflection as well so and and the new imagine reversible back cushions so this has the uh the buffalo check plaid or if you got little ones and you don't necessarily maybe want to get that dirty with the cheesy dorito fingers uh you just flip this around and you've got the uh they call this gun stock the interior by the way uh nicely finished off nice stitching double stitching just a really nice look and you can do that on both sides here so uh, lots of flexibility with the dinette that tabletop will sit perfectly it will make out into a bed as well storage doors below uh, which is really nice to put some extra extra items also so uh, again folks like when that slide out is fully retracted on this layout this is one of the things i get super jacked up about you can access your sink you've got lots of counter space to make some sandwiches if you're on a big trip from alberta to Kelowna and you want to make a meal or what have you or hit the walmart on the way out of town you got your fridge, you got your oven and range and microwave, your pantry, like everything is right here. You can use this entire trailer and every every function in it with the slide out fully retracted. So if you're overnighting in a pull out check stop and you can't move the slide out, you can still use the entire trailer, which is absolutely fantastic. The other thing folks, light switch here for your main living room lights. Okay, every single uh, main, main bedroom that you'll find, like bedroom, bathroom, um, you'll find has a light switch to turn on the main uh, ceiling light. So you've got a ceiling light here switch on the wall for your bedroom. You've got the one up here for your living area. And then you've got a light switch on the wall here for your bathroom. Now look at this bathroom. Unbelievable bathroom. Triple vanity. All three of those doors open up. Unbelievable storage. Look at the counter space in here absolutely fantastic storage on either side look at the floor space okay foot flush toilet nautilus shower curtain gone away from the uh the hanging style curtain and then look at this storage here uh, beside your shower like you can stack a ton of towels in here extra bathroom goodies you have a solid pocket door that closes off the bathroom again you've got the powered roof vent skylight above your shower look at the detail on your shower surround 
So they've done just an absolutely phenomenal job. This bathroom is gigantic. It's one of the biggest bathrooms I've seen in a, um, in a travel trailer. Doesn't matter what price point it is. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, I was talking about light switches before. And this is the case for every Transcend Explorer. We've got a bunk model, more specific for the bunk models, but let's say if you've got a grandson, granddaughter, son or daughter, or what have you, and they're little, we found with a lot of products in the industry, folks, that if they got to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, we found with some trailers, they got to stand on the toilet because the light switch is on the bottom of the light on the roof, right? And depending on how tall they are, they might not be able to turn that light on and off. Grand Design, they give you light switches, folks. They give you plug-ins. Uh, there is a ton of lights in here. They're, they are not holding back, which is, you know, again, part of that Grand Design DNA. They're building that value in, okay? The other thing, um, new is this shaker-style cabinet door. And I want to touch on this because this, again, goes back to who Grand Design is and how they build their products. This is the exact same cabinet door that you find in a 50, 60, $70,000 reflection fifth wheel, okay? Historically, shaker style doors or flat panel doors in the industry are a thinner, uh, when you open and close the door, they have a, a, a pingy, tinny, uh, just a really loose sound, like it doesn't sound very structurally sound. Um, and that's what you get with a flat panel door in the industry. They look really modern and contemporary and that's what people want nowadays, it seems. But Grand Design, when they redesigned the interior, similar to the reflection, they didn't want to take away from the structure. So you have a reversed raised panel door. So it actually reverses raised panels on the inside. Why? It's a stronger door, it's a thicker door. When you open and close this door, it is solid, folks. Not to mention, it's a, a mortise and tenon joint. It's a finger groove on the bottom side of that cabinet door, okay? So it's not just a picture frame cut, or and it's a solid wood door that's stained. We're finding a lot of products in the industry, folks. They're putting a veneer wrap around the cupboard doors. You know, the ladies' rings over time will beat up the cabinet door right and it'll tear that 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 uh, photo finish veneer wrap and it just doesn't start to look it just doesn't look as nice okay grand design this is the exact same cabinetry that you find again in a reflection fifth wheel at their entry level price point folks like this is there is so much value built into this trailer i am just absolutely blown away by it thermal foil countertops bigger single basin sinks pull down faucets okay plugins everywhere you look okay you've got plugins for all of your kitchen appliances and and all of those things so coleman mock air conditioners you've got ac that what's well, it's ducted so you've got ac that is in your bed in your bathroom your living area and your bedroom we find with some products that they won't even put a heat duct into your into your bathroom okay uh, with grand design you do now this one does have the 15k btu air conditioner on it as well that is an option uh, standard is a 13.5 uh, btu air conditioner so <clears throat> I know I've thrown a lot at you on this new 260 RB uh, Grand Design Transcend Explore. I'm fired up over this particular layout. It just arrived. Uh, again, we have not cleaned it. We have not PDI'd it. Uh, in a lot of cases, folks, I feel sometimes as a dealer with some of the other brands we've carried over the years that were the last 80 feet of the assembly line, not with Grand Design. They do a 280 plus point inspection at their facility every single RV before it leaves their uh, manufacturing plant. It comes to the dealership here in Woody's RV Leduc. We follow the Grand Design Warranty Registration Form, which has a full PDI checklist as well. So we're doing a Grand Design Certified uh, PDI um, when it shows up here at the dealership uh, before somebody buys it and takes it home. And then we do another quick point inspection right before uh, somebody takes it home. So those are the things that you get one with a grand design but also when you buy an rv from woody's rv world here in leduc folks we go the extra step what you can expect when you buy an rv from here us uh, from uh, us here in leduc one your trailer will be hooked up like it's at a full service campground okay so we have it hooked up to power the lights are on the appliances are running anything that has a switch or button or functions we show you and demonstrate to you that it is out, that it's working okay we're not going to do a quick fly by the night uh, uh, orientation with you um, with things that are, just aren't addressed and we do our orientations during service department hours so if we run into a snag uh, we have the support staff here to rectify the concern before you go so just one of the things you get here with uh, doing business with uh, woody's rv 
Again, your bedroom here, folks, very large bedroom, um, 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. You got tons of storage here, hanging storage on either side, shelf above. They don't do the doors on there just to help, you know, save some costs. They don't do the drawers on the side of the bed just to help save some cost. So there are some things that they do take out. Um, it doesn't have everything under the sun, but again, they're doing all the right things, uh, which is great. USB connection with 110 plug um, on that side of the bed, and you do get the 110 plug on the other side of the bed. So if you sleep with a CPAP machine, uh, you have the availability to be able to plug in and, and utilize that. So, uh, and again, storage, storage up underneath the bed as well. So we typically, when we go camping, we do the uh, laundry hamper and, and whatnot underneath the bed for the dirty clothes. So I really like their new, uh, the new style padded headboard there it's just got a really nice modern uh new age look which is really really good so again my name is clayton phillips canadian rv guy here at woody's rv in leduc uh, we're exclusively a grand design dealer here that's all we carry for our towable product and we couldn't be happier uh, uh, being a dealer for Grand Design. We don't get every floor plan under the sun uh, that some of the other manufacturers build. They don't necessarily build every segment, but you know, I always tell our people and our customers that 70% of the market is 100% of what we carry and we feel we carry the best stuff um, in terms of floor plan and build and structure and customer service and support and all of the things that you get uh, when you invest in a Grand Design trailer and, and invest in a trailer or, or RV from uh, Woody's RV World. If you can't make it to Woody's RV World in Leduc, here folks, don't fret. We have five dealerships in the province of Alberta. We have a dealership in BC. We have a dealership in Saskatoon. We are Western Canada folks. So if you're looking for an unbelievable experience, please check out one of our other dealerships. If you can't make it to Leduc, there is an unbelievable team at each of those stores. We carry a lot of the same products. We're a small dealership here, kind of a mom and pop, uh, little dealership here, 3.3 acres here in Leduc. So we can't carry everything under the sun. Again, we carry the right product, but uh, if Grand Design doesn't build what you're looking for, maybe check out one of our other dealerships there's uh, they carry a lot of other products there as well so again thank you for your time I know I've talked a lot I've thrown a lot at you and uh, thanks for hanging on with me and uh, if you want to hit and head inside uh, and don't want to go through all the outside stuff just move that little button across the bottom of your screen and uh, you'll be able to jump inside right away so again Clayton Phillips Woody's RV Leduc thanks for watching and happy camping